Welcome to LOA Today. I'm Walt Thiessen, here with Alex King and Daniel Mangina. Today is Thursday, March 19th, 2020, 4 p.m. New York time. Wherever you are in the world, thanks for joining us for another episode of LOA Today, your daily dose of happy. And uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, stuff about the uh, stress-related coronavirus stuff that goes on in people's lives this week. And, you know, uh, Alex and I were kind of talking about before the show, and I was giving her uh, a little taste of it, and she she gave me a a little um, wisecrack back, and I I didn't really respond to it, but it made me realize we've probably been doing too much about stress. Mm. Time to to change tracks here. So we're going to turn this into, uh, let's see, I'm not sure what the nice um, rhyming or alliterative sound would be, something that rhymes with Thursday. What is it? Um, Like like it would be Freaky Friday. What would would it be for Thursday? Uh... That's what Thursday is. Thirsty Thursday. That's that's what it is. Yeah, I, I can't I can't really come up with anything better than that. But something <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is something that breaks the uh, the tension, breaks the stress that's been going on because mm. there's just too much of that. There's too much facts. Of that. So facts. I know I've got like my my two best co-hosts for just cracking wise on everything that can possibly happen. Daniel is already taking off, you know. So <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. I don't have a, a topic beyond that. Other than to say, Alex, it's good to have you back. Because we Thank were missing you. Alex is back. Okay. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> unicorn. Alex is the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, now that's a welcome. That is a welcome. That's a real welcome. Yes. And you were, uh, you were showing me that, uh, you and Kenny have, uh, what twin, they're not twin dinosaurs, they're paradinosaurs. Yeah. So here. There they are. And they're cute. Yeah. <laughs> they're and adorable. And you discovered that uh, you had them independently without realizing it. Independently, years apart from each other. Yeah. And then I, he came over to my house and he was like, did I leave my my dinosaur here? And I was like, what are you talking about? That's mine. <laughs> and then he goes, no, you're not. You're going to die. He's like, we got to go to my mom's house right now. You're going to die. Like, <laughs> and he came and he brought it over. And I was like, shut up. And that's how we knew. That's how you knew. Yeah, sure. That kind of thing happens all the time with a, a really, really good relationship. Yep. Just- I mean, Louise and I were discovering those. Synchronicity, synchronicity, I feel like I just went to Catholic church for a second. <laughs> I'm going to just randomly sing weird things today. That okay. sounds like a plan. I like it. And I'm just going to come with completely nonsensical comic relief. Awesome. Well, since the conversation is about uh removing stress through just being wild and you're going to put that on top of it i mean it's just going to be one long hour of craziness i think this episode and i can handle that nonsensical comic relief well actually in a sense daniel this is kind of like what we talked about briefly there on tuesday remember when you were telling me about what was it called the the, the dance style where everybody's just kind of moving to oh, whatever ecstatic they're talking dance. ecstatic well, dance the, 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 the events that we're speaking about yeah. right yeah so so this What's, is like ecstatic podcast this is just go whatever you know whatever direction ooh, it feels like going i like it yeah. time out what's ecstatic dance podcast. so quick review for you <laughs> um <laughs> Ecstatic dance is a movement. I don't remember where it started, but basically it's like a rave, mm-hmm. but there's no alcohol. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to talk. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to wear shoes. Mm-hmm. It opens with a meditation and it closes with a meditation. Mm-hmm. And you're not allowed to judge anyone. So you basically just move to the music any way you want. Nice. And you can't, but you can't talk to anyone. So you engage with like movement and energy. And it's really cool. And then it ends with a meditation circle. It's really I cool. like that. Because yeah, I don't have the freedom to... to dance whenever I want. So I get yelled at in stores. <laughs> for being awkward. Okay. I'm like, then why are they playing music if I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> like, hello. So apparently you can't do the Harlem Shake in the middle of Cumberland Farms. Apparently. I um, made a dance. Do you remember? Do you remember the heel and toe? Dance. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I made up a dance about 20 years ago called the Heel and Shake, where I would do the Heel and Toe and the Harlem Shake at the same time. Nice. <laughs> I My need friends, video evidence of this ASAP. I haven't done it for more than a decade. However, that was like one of my signature moves. Nice. The, floor, the mm-hmm. heel, and sh- the heel and shake. So yeah. you do the Heel and Toe, and then you do the. 
Ah, okay. And then I you do you. like some other stuff. It was really cool. Yeah, if I, I did the combination. Myself. I did the Crip Walk mixed with the heel toe. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That was my major club move. So Crip and Toe. <laughs> crip and Toe. Yep. There you go. Or no gang affiliation. Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, quick TV thing. I'm up yes. to date with Supernatural. Just let you know. <gasps> yes. I'm now I have today. people to talk about it with. So I'm like, I'm like sitting at my mom's door going, have you watched it yet? Have you watched it? <laughs> Cause like, I need yes. to talk about it right now. Yes. <laughs> so we can talk about that another time. Yes. Did you watch the show Krypton, by the way? Uh, for five seconds. I hated it. I Sorry, really I'm, a, enjoyed it. I'm a Marvel fan, not DC. So like when I try to watch something DC, they have to be really good. Otherwise it's not happening. I don't think DC have made anything any good TV show. What? Okay, the whole Arrowverse? Are you insane? This is my city. I will save my city. Facts. You're right. You're right. That's the Put me on toast. All I'm so the, cheesy. And then I'll save my show. city. <laughs> that's every single character for every single show. You're absolutely right. And it's like, right. dude, the, the whole premise of him being on the island, but not really. He was like a super spy. Well, it's not even just Arrow. It's The Flash, Black Lightning, uh, Batgirl, all of them. They all say that. <laughs> yeah, all of them should just give up, I think. They, they, the missed, they should they should go on a soul retrieval and find their soul's purpose. Because it was- <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging right now. <laughs> harshly, harshly. But it's cool. It's cool. You're, 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 you're spitting facts, so. though. So, so, so I have to ask just to tie the topics together, if these characters were to do an ecstatic dance, what would it look like? It, it would look, look like, like the new version. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it would look like the the new millennial version of the Harlem Shake, which is basically just random twitching. Save the city! Save <laughs> the city! <laughs> <sighs> I, the only reason I like them is because they explore multi-universes. Okay, I can get down with that, mm-hmm. or I could watch something decent that also does the same. <laughs> wow! Shots fired! <laughs> Lots of lasers. Pew, pew! What? Said, or Is I could watch something universe? decent. <laughs> yes, it's true. LOA Today has become the new video game. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a quantum reality where this was a serious conversation. <laughs> <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> hey, I, I am not complaining. I'm getting exactly what I asked for. I wanted to just release stress and laugh, and that's exactly what I'm getting. This is great. Mm-hmm. That, who says the law I'm of attraction just, doesn't work? I mean, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just, you know what it is? It's, 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 it's quite surreal for me mm-hmm. because life is normal, apart from yeah. when whatsapps and pictures and stuff come from other parts of the world where people are panicking the mm. world is a do you know what they're doing my sister went to go and buy eggs she's in um she's in london east mm-hmm. london she went to go and buy eggs for her and my nephew and the store <laughs> the grocery store the local grocery store mm-hmm. have inflated their prices they wanted seven pounds for a packet of eggs which would normally be about one pound fifty Ten dollars for a box of eggs. You don't even want to know how much hand sanitizer is going for online. <laughs> really? Yeah, the really like the big family pack, like just the just the one jar. It's two hundred dollars. Anyway, my, my <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something I'd say. I've even, and I'm going to say something controversial as I'm. Oh. Going to do. I'm sick and tired of. People inviting me to meditations to heal for coronavirus. Oh, facts. And then facts. telling me that this is what we're going to do to change the problem. <laughs> okay. Anything that you give any level of attention or awareness to, you're feeding. Even the purported healing of it is actually just giving it more life. Mm. Well, it depends on what kind of energy you're bringing to it, what kind of emotion I should say you're bringing to it. But I would say in the current climate, you're right. Because in the current climate, the emotional context is, oh, there's this terrible thing going on. we got to meditate on it, which is absolutely the wrong emotion. Yeah. It's not as bad as the flu. It's not as bad as the flu. <laughs> it's a glorified flu, let's be honest. <laughs> it's not even as bad as the flu. 
<laughs> <laughs> That's what I was telling Walt last week. I was like, more people have are dying from the flu than are actually dying from this terrible, terrible virus. Anyway. It's really interesting, though, because if you say that to somebody who is not, um, shall we say, indoctrinated with what we know mm. about conscious creation, mm. you will get basically shoved into a corner and told that you are a horrible human being who is working against the best interests of the human race. And I know Dang. that because I had that experience. Uh. <laughs> I know this from experience. And how, oh, that's a Kevin Hart line. And how do I know this? From experience. That's yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, you're a comedian. Yeah. It's amazing, I tell you. <laughs> if you want to get your giggle on, definitely do some Kevin Harding during this uh epidemic. I've, I've stopped even I've stopped even sharing I was sharing jokes, like my way of like just channeling Yeah, me too. Their jokes. I'm mm-hmm. not even doing that anymore. Yeah, I paused. <laughs> I'm not even doing that anymore. And any any email list that's sending me anything about it, I'm unfollowwing Anyone who talks about it in any context, even on Brighton Me to a Meditation, is getting muted on social media. Fair enough. I'm curating. If everybody curated their inputs to not consider it and took the simple, normal steps of decent hygiene and taking care of your body, this would disappear like that. That is going to do more than doing thousand people meditations about it, in my humble opinion. <laughs> if, those, if that thousand people just took their energy away from it and encouraged one person to do the same, this thing would disappear a lot faster than doing more meditation to heal the Corona flu. I mean, the virus, I mean, the Corona. The Rona. That's my controversial input. Folks. I I, I was just wondering how long we were going to end up talking about this thing we weren't going to talk about. So now I know. (laughs) And that is it in a nutshell. And this is me in a nutshell. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome powers. I can't take credit for that. (laughs) I I have no comment on that one. Anyway, (laughs) Josephine was sharing some of the things that she's been doing to uh, try to uh, deal with all this craziness. And and she actually has some pretty interesting stuff here. She says, "I'm I'm currently working on a puzzle. My mom was telling me how puzzles are a metaphor for the mind. Mm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. I've only been watching comedies during this time. This week I watched the SpongeBob movie and Idiocracy. Nice. (laughs) Proper. And then she says, according to the Mayo Clinic, laughter stimulates organs, activates and relieves your stress response and soothes tension. Mm -hmm. And Science Daily says the effects of laughter are similar to the effects of exercise. I thought you were going to say ecstasy for a second. And then I was going to say, how do you know, Mr. I, I I just read them. I don't call them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are dumb. <laughs> but, Keeping it light and fairy. <laughs> <laughs> those are some great, those are some great, 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 great tips. I think the whole thing yeah. about comedy is really good. I tend I to do that when I'm, when I feel stress coming on mm. or I feel that like my life is being stressful, like with work or anything, I take a pause. And I watch something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Why the cup means. And I've that's also got a list of people memes. that make my vibe go up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good thing to have. I, I also, I, I've, I've been an advocate of laughter and, and comedy and, and using that as a way to break stress for a long, long time. Alex knows that. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm also advocating completely changing the subject to stuff that's like totally unrelated. And toward that end, Louise and I, um, we, usually she likes to try to pick out a movie that usually one that we know that we've seen before that we can count on to actually not be terribly depressing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, a couple of days ago I said, I, I'm not really up for, for watching a movie. Let's do something different. She says, what do you have in mind? I said, I don't know. Why don't we just try to find something on YouTube mm-hmm. um, while we're eating dinner and you know, just some subject, anything that's not related to viruses, not related to stresses of any kind, just something light and fun. She says, well, I don't know. What, what should we watch? I said, I don't know. I started naming some topics, nothing really was doing it. And then one of us mentioned SpaceX. We said, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Now, have you guys watched anything from SpaceX? Have you seen anything? Have you been following any of the stuff that they've been doing? No. no. Really I count cool that as news. stuff. No, uh, no, 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 no. Treat this differently. This is not. This does not fall into news category. And the reason I say that is mm-hmm. even the stuff that goes wrong is funny. Okay. 
So literally everything that you look at feels good, which is really I'm concerned. What's going wrong? <laughs> well, first is Elon Musk, who is the head of SpaceX and who mm-hmm. obviously is, is leading this venture. He's trying to, uh, he's trying to get to Mars. He's, he wants to colonize Mars and he's mm-hmm. serious. He's putting mm-hmm. his money behind it. Um, but, uh, when he started SpaceX, he told his engineers, I want you to fail early and fail often. Mm-hmm. In other words, yep. I want you to fail as fast as humanly possible, learn from the mistakes and then fail again, learn from more mistakes. And if you do that, you're going to get to the point where we're able to successfully launch rockets and go into outer space and so forth a lot sooner than say NASA did when they were doing all this during the 1960s. Mm-hmm. So they did and it's working. Uh, but of course that means you're having to make a lot of mistakes along the way. So at one point and, and they film everything and they document everything. So at one point he said to his staff, to his, um, um, video staff, I want you to take all the videos of all the failures and put them together into one great big collection, like a, this monster mash of, you know, all these failures. And, so and a gag so, reel. it's a gag reel, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's, so okay. you, you're seeing one scene after another of rockets, like shooting along the ground and flying over here and hitting that building. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> like a fourth grade science fair. Pretty much. Yes. <laughs> Nice. So that's fun. Um, but the really cool stuff is seeing how they succeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I, I kind of suspect maybe you guys were ever into science fiction. When I was growing up, science fiction was a big thing for me. I used to love reading sci-fi. Elon Musk was a big sci-fi fan growing up. He loved science fiction. And anyone who knows anything about science fiction knows like the, um, uh, the ways that things like Flying in rocket ships and landing on plants and so forth were always portrayed, particularly in comic books and on television shows and so forth. I mean, you, you saw these, these really, you know, dorky looking metal spaceships flying at weird angles through space and then they, they'd land tail fin first and, you know, they'd have these little tiny jets coming out. I mean, they're just really absurd, right? Right. But, right. but that's, that's the way the media was at that time. Well, guess what? Elon Musk's team has actually succeeded in landing rockets on their tail fins. No way. I'm not kidding you. In fact, it's a really interesting concept. He suggested the idea, well, when, when NASA was sending rockets into space, you know, they, they'd have boosters, right? So they'd be the first stage booster that would push it up for, you know, a certain, uh, certain height into the air. That booster would drop off. A second booster would kick in. That would push the rocket even further. That booster would, you know, and would keep doing this until the capsule got up into outer space. Mm-hmm. And he's saying, well, what a waste that is. Cause now you got to build boosters all over again. Mm. And if you're going to do this multiple times, well, why not just reuse the same boosters? Well, in order to do that, they can't come crashing to earth. <laughs> right. Right. You actually have to be able to land them. So his engineers, figured out how to land these booster rockets and they actually land them tail first on the launch pad. No way. Wow. And you can actually see video of this. <clears throat> so, so you, you watch this video. It's, it's kind of like watching a modern version of the old films of when NASA was, was sending up a, a rocket, you know, in, in the old versions, it was like Walter Cronkite commenting in the background. It was very, you know, low key and, and dour and so forth today. It's, it's almost like a, it's kind of like a rave that goes on in the background because you have mm-hmm. this whole crowd of, of all the engineers and workers at SpaceX cheering in the background with every single little thing that happens. And then you have these um, millennial commentators who are not being formal at all, very, being very informal, kind of like they're on social media, just talking about, can you believe what just happened? I mean, no, that kind of <laughs> stuff. So, so it has a completely different vibe to it. And then they also have the mission control people in the background. Who, are, who have to really watch what they're doing. So you know, it's it's the same kind of verbiage as you used to get from the old space shots. Uh-huh. So you got that combination going on, and it works. It works. It, it, you, it almost doesn't sound like it could from what I'm describing, but right. you watch this, and, it, and you just start feeling it. You start feeling what they're feeling. You start getting the energy of it. And then they actually get a, a ro- the rocket starts to take off. Everybody's cheering in the background, and then it gets mm. to the first day of separation. Everybody's going wild. They're screaming with, you know, pure delight and then the 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 stage lands on the ground and they're screaming with delight. I mean it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. So uh, yeah, I thoroughly recommend seeing some of the films on on YouTube of the space shots. Look for the one if you want one to start with, look for the one from April of 2019. It was their first attempt with the new Falcon 
the Falcon Heavy, as they call it. That's their big rocket that's going to be a, a, a main portion of getting to Mars, mm-hmm. um, where they tested the rocket taking off the three um, boosters coming back to Earth, all landed exactly where they were supposed to, and the rocket did what it was supposed to do, and then it came back and it landed the way it was supposed to. I mean, everything just went perfectly with this thing. And you watch it, and it's like you're watching a science fiction movie. It's unbelievable. Sounds pretty cool. And there is absolutely nothing negative. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely just, um, nothing. Make a note. I'm going to watch that later. Yeah. Too. It's Thank great. It's shows. great. Yeah. Yeah. And check out the uh, blooper video too. Their, their blooper video really is funny. It's <laughs> I actually check have a out friend. the blooper, check out the blooper, <laughs> check out the blooper video. I would say we need a blooper video, but like the whole episode is a blooper video. They usually are, yeah. <laughs> how would you take that? How would you separate them out? I'm not sure. What criteria would you use? It would be it's... one minute of Walt talking and then everything else is just gag <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to LOA Today. Gag reel. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, okay. Man. Alex, you're in charge. Put it together. Oh, I was gonna say I actually have a friend from elementary school who works for SpaceX, so I get to, I get to hear all the cool stuff when it's coming out. He'll he'll call oh, me. Oh, okay. He'll, so he'll email me because he's off the grid, so he doesn't like to use cell phones or anything like that. So he'll email me and be like, We're we're launching a rocket, you might want to check it out. Here's the link. Do you watch like, it? I never remember. It's usually at like six o'clock in the morning. And but I'm you don't like, have to. You don't have to. It's YouTube. You can play it back. Yeah, but I feel, I don't know. I felt like I'm supposed to, because he's my friend. So I'm supposed to click on the link he gave me and, you know, watch it live and stuff. But <laughs> you don't watch it at all. So I don't see Shut up, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> Stop making sense of my non logicalness. <laughs> I, I can't watch it on YouTube. I must watch the link that I didn't watch. <laughs> No, I have to watch the link I didn't watch live. That's what I have to watch. <laughs> Woe is me. <laughs> Can I ask a thing, seeing as you're Marvel? I'm going to do another. Okay. <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is an allergent. Okay, go ahead. An allergent. Oh, we've got a different word. Sorry, Marvel side Agent notes. Field. Marvel yes. Agent Field. Hate it. What, what's up? <laughs> I, it does, I it's, it's not consistent. I was I was understanding what was happening mm-hmm. up until the LMR gate, and then space in the future. Yeah, it's confusing because it doesn't follow the movie track at all. So and and now this most recent, I don't get it. Just I don't either. <laughs> no. I just want to this is, I don't know how to explain to you how confusing this is for somebody who has nothing, no knowledge at all about the series because I'll, I'll I have no knowledge it about it and I'm talking to two people who know the series and who still don't know what to make sense of. I will straighten it for you right now, okay? okay. When it comes to Mar- Marvel and DC, Marvel <laughs> is for movies, DC is for TV, and that's all you need to know. Okay, and that's, that's great. That's a great rule, except it doesn't do anything to explain what just went on in the last three minutes. Well, no, none of us know what happened in the last three minutes. But what my point was, when when it comes to Marvel, when it comes to Marvel and their TV shows, they don't follow the movie plot lines. So like nothing matches up and nothing makes sense. So it's hard, if you're if you're a Marvel movie fan, you go to watch um, Agents of Shield, and then you're like, wait, what? How is he still alive? And then wait, so who? And yeah, it's like that. So exactly it was how fine. the first couple of seasons was okay because they had first like couple, before. yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, then after that, it just started falling off the rails because they're just like, "What craziness yeah. can we put in this episode?" Yeah, <laughs> just don't do it, Walt. Basically, don't do it. Keep watching yeah. SpaceX. Yeah, don't don't uh, listen to us unless uh, you're going to do that anyway. Unless you know. you're going to watch Supernatural. No, I couldn't stand that. I mean, I, I watched 15 minutes of it, and I just couldn't take it. No, you have to stick with Supernatural. It's good. Thank you. See, Daniel's on my side. He gets Apart it. from the really weird Scooby-Doo type episodes. <laughs> now, first of all, that was one episode. Second of all, that was amazing. That was, <laughs> one, that was only one episode. It wasn't a season, so it's you can't give it fault. But it was amazing. <clears throat> yeah, but that type of weird. Weird what? 
Okay. But they someone, do that all the time, someone, though. Someone has surrendered to the gospel of supernatural, so I'm going to stop. But Ooh. basically, we'll, we'll stay away from stay away from Marvel Agents of Shield. Yeah, I promise. Agree. I'm not going to say you gospel of supernatural, word. but I will because season seven was rough. I I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. By the way, yeah. I, I did I did check out finally Designated Survivor. Alex had recommended this to me, and That's I actually one. and I did three episodes. Okay, but what happened after the three episodes? <laughs> I wanted to turn it off after the first 10 minutes. Damn it. You're the only one I can't get. Oh. I'm sorry. I just couldn't suspend my disbelief. I really tried. I watched all three. Louise and I watched them all together. Uh huh. What did Louise think? The same thing I did. We kept looking at each other like, we're supposed to believe this? Really? <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't watched the full season because I was like, this is garbage. But. Because it was West Wingish, I figured it'd be in your wheelhouse. So that's no, why I well, was like, they they they, like they had a ways to go before they got to the West Wing level. To be perfectly yeah, honest, yeah. To be fair, I also have not watched the West Wing, so. Because <laughs> I mean, look, here's one example. Okay, mm-hmm. so okay. Um, for those who don't know the story, basically it's a storyline of uh, there's a there's a guy who is in the cabinet who is designated each time that the president gives a State of the Union message to be the designated survivor in case something blows up the Capitol, which is exactly what happens in the first episode. The Capitol blows up. The president's dead, vice president, all, almost all of Congress, um, almost all of his uh, cabinet members are gone. The only guy that's left is the uh, Secretary of Housing, Urban, and, and Development. Okay, so here yeah, he is. He's, watch- he's watching it on TV. He sees it blows up, blow up. He, he's absolutely in shock. The Secret Service grab him, rush him into the Oval Office. He gets sworn in, and he's, he's like in his, you know, sweatsuit, and he has he has no idea what the heck is happening. He's he's, try, he's just trying to emotionally grab with, grapple with that. And I can get that. That part actually kind of started to work. And then they brought us into the Situation Room. Oh, now, yeah. The Situation Room, that's where the Joint Chiefs of Staff, or what's left of them, are no. all huddling together trying to decide what they're going, what info they're going to give to the, this new president who's coming in. Mm-hmm. Now, anyone who's ever watched The West Wing, anyone who's ever watched political dramas knows that the first thing that happens when the when the president walks into the room and one of the officers in the room notices it is he stands up at attention and says, Ten Hut, and everybody stands up at attention, mm-hmm. which did not happen in this episode. That's what threw you? <laughs> that was the first thing that threw me. I'm giving you one example. See, the thing is, if you want I to I suspend, judging. I thought right. I was judgmental. If life. you want me to sense, suspend my disbelief, you actually have to present me with a scene that I can believe. And All I right, go, I'm going to have to do a little bit more hard work now that I know what your criteria is. Yeah, well, it has to be well done. It mm-hmm. has to be, okay. you know, if you go to a theater, mm-hmm. and, and I'm putting a, you know, put aside like a high school musical or something like that. I mean, like okay. real theater, you know, professional okay. theater, mm-hmm. and. You see a play, and you look at these people performing this play on stage, and presuming for the moment that it's not um, a humorous farce that you're just enjoying the humor of, but it's some mm-hmm. sort of a drama. If you don't believe what they're saying up there, if it just doesn't seem real to you, are you going to like it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's the problem. Okay. It just didn't seem real. It seemed even the, even the blowing up the capital. I mean, that, that looked like it was a be real. I mean, it was, probably was to be honest. <laughs> yeah, just, let's be real. I mean, so what what is it about suspending our our belief then? Is there something to say about our ability to hippo our way through a a TV show effectively? Mm. Sure. Yeah. And could this be a training ground for you, Mr. Walt, Mm. to step into something more magical, wonderful in your life? By suspending the belief of your, the movie of your life. Well, you suspend the disbelief, actually. Disbelief, you know what I mean. Yes, right. <laughs> I said what Spend I said. <laughs> Leave the judging to me, Walt. I will not <laughs> be usurped. <laughs> Spending the disbelief long enough to step into something a bit more fantastic. Maybe mm. that's exactly what you need. Maybe you should watch DC Universe shows and save your city. <laughs> save the city of your mind, bro. Well, the thing is, if we're going to suspend judgment, then that means we're also going to suspend um, judging that somebody else should do something, including watching no, no, no. a TV show. But, 
but he said he said you're supposed to i'm sorry you're supposed to not judge he's That's leaving it job. all up to him yeah he's he wants it all left up to him yeah that won't be of my joy this is and, my thing and, and, and i'm supposed to That's say yes to do this. drugs i judge I, i'm supposed to say yes to this because what Tell me again. He, I'm, miss, I'm missing a point here. Why is this that I would want somebody else to do my judging for me instead of me just letting go of judging entirely? I don't quite get that. No, you got to do both. <laughs> you got to let go of all your judging and let him do it. That's what you got to do. Let it go. Let it go. Just watch the TV show. We'll buy, bro. Let it go. Let it go. As I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. Has anyone said anything serious on the chat or are they laughing along to? Or have they all gone because of my <laughs> Have they all gone? <laughs> I think they're actually kind of in a dead faint right now. To be they're like, honest. I'm sorry, what is even <laughs> happening right now? We've all got corona, we've been quarantined, and we're going to have fever. That's what it is. Ma-ma-ma-ma, corona! <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quarantined. I've been drinking Heineken's the entire time, so... How can you possibly be quarantined? You never leave the house. Well, I was self quarantining for twelve years, and then I've been drinking Heineken, so I'm like Corona free. It's not so, an issue. So you're good at this. Yes, I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the memes that are like, "Oh, we're we're all about to be quarantined," and all the introverts are like, "I'm just living my best life." <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, We've been doing this, or when you find out that your entire lifestyle was called self quarantine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening for me right now. I've been preparing for this day my entire life. Yeah. Except for the whole whole toilet paper shortage. This is how I live. (laughs) (laughs) To my world. (laughs) There are shelves and shelves and shelves of Blue Roll here. Costco is sold out. Only because Mm -hmm. um, the visitors think that's the only place that sells toilet roll. So that was was sold out (laughs) in half an hour. Yeah. No, Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Literally, half an hour of it opening the day after all the planes came in, sold out. But everywhere wow. else, it's plenty of toilet mm-hmm. okay. Not here. Yeah. Well, we've discovered here that uh, apparently the supply chains are pretty strong mm-hmm. because they emptied out the stores and the next day they were full again. Yeah, yeah. So they emptied yeah. out the stores and they were full again the next day. Mm-hmm. Nice. And, and the store owners are saying, ah, yes, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like well, the, I think everything the, has an upside and a, and, and a non-upside. And, oh, sure. And everybody's Every situation has someone that wins and someone that pays for the winning. But everybody can smile and reflect on something and say, I've learned something from it. And that's why I'm choosing to take away from this beautiful experience. And actually, I think we can all benefit from every, everything that happens. It's just a question of how are we going to look at it? From what perspective are we going to see it? Ooh, so we mm-hmm. can benefit something from watching the TV show. Yes, we also can <laughs> benefit from having the choice of whether we're going to watch the TV show. <laughs> Well, go read a book. It's fine. It's okay. It's <laughs> you know, I can't get them all. Apparently, we're, we're going to find. Them all. We're going to. We're all. going to find a show that you love. We're going to find it. We're I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to pair up with you on this, Alex. Together. All right, word, word. All right, because well, like he's ru- be he's ruining he's ruining my numbers right now. That's what's happening. Together, <laughs> do we hear? together. <laughs> Because I had a hundred percent success rate, and then he's just like, "Yeah, no, bring it back so down to ninety-nine." So, what is your contrast? Yes, he is why I'm But here. contrast is good; <laughs> it shows you what you like and what you don't like. Yeah, I exactly. don't like well ruining my numbers. That's what I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like when you go to school and you have all A's, and then this one teacher was like, "No, you need to, you need to, you know, think about other things," and he gives you a B, and you're like. <gasps> Breathe in the humility. Allow it to en- enhance your life. And I'm a unicorn. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that goes without explanation. Hello. <laughs> that was a shot. <laughs> well, I guess, well, I well, guess we're not doing explanations anymore. <laughs> unicorn horns are very sharp in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> yeah, to a point and, you know, that's it. But I'm bumped. <laughs> I want sound effects now. Have I got- Me too. I want a sound effect. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get my laptop and get a button because I'll, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you the file. I mean, I this rim shot I file I've got. I, I picked up off of YouTube. I can get that for you if, if you want. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Definitely need it. Do a- yeah. 
Is it on my screen? Can everybody what? see it? How'd you do that? I want it. I want to press buttons. <laughs> reactions at the bottom of the screen. I don't have reactions. Hold on. Let me hit more. Raise hand. Oh, this little thing over here. Why Why do I get the white hands? What are they trying to say? <laughs> I need black yellow, emojis. I'm not judging. I need black emojis. <laughs> I'm not judging, but it was yellow. It was yellow. Huh. <laughs> no. I only have I only have a clap and a thumbs up. I don't like this. <laughs> That's all I have. Also, oh, it's all right, quite all right, sparse, cool. to be honest. Mm. A little bit on the on the thin side. Well, However, that wasn't there before, so they're working on it. They're working on it, and you mm-hmm. know what? I'm grateful that they're working on it. Now just work harder, Zoom. Now just work harder. <laughs> so, it's probably so, because you cussed them out last week. <laughs> so this is an interesting thing because what we're experiencing here is the verbal version of an ecstatic dance. Because that's what we talked about doing, right? That's what, we that's, asked what for. That, that's what this is going to be. And and I, I didn't know how that was going to look. Now I know what it feels like. Now I know what it yeah. looks like. It's more like and a sporadic dance, but okay. I mean, I would have called it going off the rails, but it, it works either way. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, what's your preference the... level on it, Mr. Walt? <sighs> I'm sorry, what did, you, what did you just say? What's your preference level on it? My preference? My preference is that we're doing exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to get away from all that other stuff, and we're doing that. Mm-hmm. And I like that part. That part's great. You know, so. Do you, want, do, you, do you want a Snapple fact for the day? A Snapple fact. This is yeah, like. Yeah, you know, like, bottles of Snapple, they come with interesting facts in, in every cap. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I may yeah. start well, sugar. That's business. a Snapple fact in itself right there. Like today's <laughs> today's so fact. Double real, whammy today. Bless. Real, real fact number 774. Koalas numbered. only drink. Yes, they're numbered. In the thousands. Koalas only drink water in extreme heat or drought. Okay. Snapple fact. Well, so other than that, they don't drink anything. Yeah, unless it's really, really hot or it's about to be really, really hot and dry. <laughs> well, do you know what? That actually makes sense because the environment that they grew up in, they're probably the ones that needed water probably got weeded out. Mm. It's like Just like camels. Yep. Hmm. They're very adorable camels. But without the humps. What are your thoughts on evolution? Hmm. And, and defined in what sense? Like, where, where, where are we starting with this? <laughs> Wherever you are, really. I'm, I'm not judging. There was a porch. I mean, I totally believe in evolution. Otherwise, I, okay, here's my theory. And I came up with this in fourth grade. So <laughs> I Thank took two theories and combined them. So I said, yes, there was a Big Bang, but may, the universe created the Big Bang. But then we evolved from the, the microbes that were made by the Big Bang. Okay. Short and concise. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Walt, where you at? I, actually, I was just thinking that when she mentioned fourth grader, it reminded me of one of the uh, the virus memes that are out there saying, doesn't this whole thing just sound like it was written by a fourth grader? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It, the whole, it does. The, <laughs> the whole, whole thing year, sounds like <laughs> No, the whole year 2020 sounds like it was written by a fourth grader. That's Pretty much. Is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there are some benefits, though. They've just they announced, I think it was a couple of days ago, that they're suspending all repossessions and evictions until the end of April. Mm. Yep. So some people who are in financial hardship yep. uh, are getting some reprieve. So yeah. I, I know personally action. someone who was who was looking to get out of, um, who was trying to drastically, trying to drastically, frantically trying to sort out something on an eviction. Mm-hmm. And he's actually now got reprieve to sort himself out. Mm-hmm. In Massachusetts, they're doing it until May. Okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess the... Uh... The federal government's now talking about uh, handing out cash to people too for a couple months. Yeah, yeah. To tide them over. Yeah. So but, a one but do we have to? Package. Do we have to pay that back when we're when it's over? <laughs> I'm serious. I want to know. I don't know. I haven't seen the package. So I'm like, should I cash this thousand dollars? I'm not even sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they even know how they're going to pay for it. I, Is I it taxable? I suspect it's just going to get money created out of thin air, kind of thing, you know. Just and are the banks going to be open for these transactions? Or? They already they already did another seven hundred billion of quantitative easing on the slide mm. last week. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's becoming old hat, which is mm-hmm. um, interesting. <laughs> Says somebody who's been <laughs> into monetary theory for years and years. Mm. <laughs> that was the new trick, by the way, to go with the hat. That's oh, the new okay. trick. In a nutshell. <laughs> ah, okay. This is why you need to subscribe to YouTube so you can see our shenanigans. 
Yeah, yeah. Be, I, I, that was occurring to me right now that somebody listening to this podcast is saying, "I have no idea what is happening here." Right? I, you know what? <clears throat> Can I say something also? I didn't like the feeling of listening to the podcast you guys said to look at, listen to that was really cool, <clears throat> really cool one, which I really enjoyed, by the way. Uh-huh. But listening to it, I was like but I can't see their faces. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's a whole nother level over here. Another level. <laughs> well, then that sounds like a segue to me. So, Alex, tell people how they can see our faces on YouTube, and then I'll tell them how to, po- to subscribe to the podcast. Okay, well, if you go to YouTube and you search LOA Today podcast videos, you will see our smiling faces. And once you see our smiling faces, down below there is a red subscribe button, and next to the red subscribe button, there is a silver bell. When you click the silver bell, make sure you click all so you will always be notified when we are live. Don't you like the hand motions, Daniel? I do. <laughs> I, was, I mean, they're I really good. I to join in today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still boycotting Zoom on that one. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's the real reason to become a YouTube subscriber, just so you can see Alex's hand motions when she's doing subscribe on the YouTube channel. Or how my hair has changed within the last week and or month or so. It, well, it's it's evolved. You, in the past, you went through change. Changes where the color went from oh, you know, red to purple to blue. You know, yeah, this, this, it was this a is different like, color every is, month. This is a soft change, so it's, so it's more of an evolution. That's where the yeah, evolution yeah. topic comes in. This is just yes. new conditioner and a haircut. That's what this mm-hmm. is. Which is nice. Yeah. Looks very good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, did you finish telling us about your evolution thoughts? You kind of you, you did a walk jump. Into well, we, a... we all yeah, we evolved away from it is what we did. We <laughs> <laughs> evolved away from it. Oh, I need a button. I like what you did there, lad. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Scott. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> so the question is still on the floor. Evolution. Yes. What are your thoughts, Mr. Walt? What are my thoughts? I'm in favor of it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> without evolution, we wouldn't get very far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in favor of it. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe today. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm doing podcasts without you. <laughs> oh man, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, I mean, if you didn't have evolution, we wouldn't have much of a life, would we? <laughs> I mean, seriously, what kind of life would there be if the, if nothing ever changed? If all right. this kind of it was like you know frozen in in time and frozen yeah, we, in rock and just never shifted never moved what would be the point we'd all be cavemen mm-hmm. eating rocks and ruining our teeth and or monkeys depending on which uh which route you want to go <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. yeah what are your totally, thoughts totally in favor daniel the question uh, comes back to i'm a hybrider me. i'm a hybrider oh that is not what i thought you said okay good <laughs> What did you? No, no. Just explain what you were going to say. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, I believe that evolution had a kickstart and intervention over time. It had an intervention mm. by who? Yeah, because there are there are there are there are chains in human evolution. At least there are there are chains of jump mm. in genetic code that can't be explained by pure evolution theory. But then there are there are theories out there, and there are stories from ancient texts that give some explanation, which I believe are the root for human ancient. evolution, at least. So, you so in... you're talking about biological revolution, the, the, the evolution within the physical planet, the, the evolution of species, and so forth. Yeah. Okay. I think I think, there were, I think there of the term species. bigger than that. I, 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 I think, think of it. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go, go, go. I, I, was, just, I was just going to say that I I think of evolution in terms of the evolution of life the universe and everything mm. mm-hmm. you know i mean however you you decide to quantify what happened at the beginning if there was a beginning and how you know this source energy thing happened and so forth to me that's an evolution mm-hmm. you. you know and i'm not really sure how to I don't know, how to label it or quantify it beyond that other than to say well it's it's clearly the expansion's happening the evolution is continuing so it's going you know life and is and that, growing and adapting expanding I, and adapting 
And, mm-hmm. and that's what I, I mean, I, I said it like a joke, but I really did mean it. I, I'm really totally in favor of that. I like the fact that that exists. We wouldn't be here without that. <laughs> now, Daniel, were you referring to the book of the Anunnaki? You mean the, the Anunnaki? Mm-hmm. I believe that's one thing. Theory. Mm-hmm. I, but I don't, I, I follow the, the, the thought that there were multiple experiments Mm-hmm. multiple times over over time. And okay. that was just one collective set of experimenting. All right, all right. Here, here's an interesting question. Where does what we call conscious creation fit into the evolutionary cycle? To, and it, you can define evolutionary cycle whatever way you want to. You, it's, mm. it's open. That was a strand. It was a strand of consciousness happening here in the now, experiencing a different level of reality in physical form in order to know more of itself. Fair okay. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Tracks with me. <laughs> yeah. You do know how to finish a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It's a gift. Along the singing, along the singing. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, he's doing his Frank Sinatra. So, um, oh, I didn't do the uh, promo. I should do the promo because you did the, the YouTube promo. That means I'm supposed to do the podcast promo. And that's where we get most of our subscribers anyway. So if you're not yet subscribing to the podcast, please become a subscriber. It's so easy to do. We just set it up for you at LOAToday.net at the homepage. And just follow the instructions. Daniel did it in one click. See if you can match him. Do it in one click. And just like that, five episodes a week are coming right to your smartphone. And then something we haven't mentioned lately, but we really do want you to do it. Subscribe and share. Tell other yes. people. Pass tell the word. Friend to tell a friend. I mean, how many places are there that you know about that you can actually enjoy what you're listening to or watching on YouTube? Because there's nothing in it that will bring you down. Mm-hmm. That's pretty rare. Yeah, that's pretty rare. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was profound, Daniel. Very profound. And the word. conversation is still going. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, now it stopped. <laughs> oh, we should do a whole ASMR episode. ASMR? Yeah, ASMR. It's when you talk really close to the microphone. Okay. Yeah. See, that, that shows how the acronyms have expanded over the years. Cause Why was it called back in your day? Talking FM. really close to the microphone. But- <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what it was called. That was FM radio. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> First he steals my judging, now he steals my sentence ending. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's funny you guys are all from me about the, the judging, and yet I think you are actually judging me. No, we're judging your joke. That's not <laughs> that's that's not you. That's a statement of fact. There is no opinion. <laughs> there is fact. No distortion of opinion. <laughs> You just said it's daytime, you judge. No, it's not. <laughs> Behold and see, there is light outside. It is definitely the daytime. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know, if, if we were to actually take this uh, this dialogue going on here and write it into a script and send it to Hollywood, they'd probably make a movie out of it. No, it'd be nonsensical. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, most movies are. Ooh! I mean, let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> when was the last time you saw a movie that, if you really couldn't suspend your disbelief, because we were talking about that earlier, you'd say, well, yeah, I can't really suspend my disbelief, but it is real. <laughs> yeah, I say we give the script to Marvel and get them to make the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what you're saying, it's right up their alley. I mean... Oh, burn, guys. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. <laughs> I'm just trying to go with the flow. I mean, oh, my God. Shots fired all day. will be one of us. <laughs> I'm going to find, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to work with, with Lady Unicorn. Yeah. Um, we're going to, we're we going to find a show for Walt. We'll find a show for Walt. What, what kind, name a show besides West Wing that you have enjoyed. Mm. Please. Hmm. As, I, as I write this down. You have to understand, over the course of my lifetime, there are maybe two or three shows I've ever watched with any degree of frequency. 
Okay, and what okay. were those there, TV there aren't shows? that many of them. Um, well, I watched Smash for years. I, I know that whole series front to back. Okay. Um, All right. All right. I was into sci-fi shows, so anything that was the better science fiction, not, you know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you can't suspend disbelief. <laughs> I, I, saw to science it, fiction. I saw it coming. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. I need, I need a minute. <laughs> I've had my minute. As I, as, I, as I was qualifying for a moment there, um, not all science fiction shows, because a lot of them were pretty bad, the, the higher quality ones, you know, the ones that were, that had some. Okay. Some brain going on. Some okay, okay. It made a little sense. We 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 need we need some, some examples. Some, some, we need some. Yeah. Well, suspended disbelief, but I can watch sci-fi. Any sci-fi, sci-fi, any sci-fi, sci-fi. Any sci-fi. <laughs> I so, no, you're talking you, Star Trek. You, you, you mean, yeah, I've, been, I've enjoyed Star Trek. Um, I, I was a Star Wars fan when the movie came out. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, anything that that it, it wasn't so much about the science fiction either. It was about did it have a storyline with people that I could empathize with? Because that's what suspending disbelief really is all about. Okay. Okay. I've got one for you. Star Trek Discovery. Uh, yeah, I've, I've watched that. It's pretty good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I can't say I loved um, any of the sci-fi. I, I mm-hmm. watched it and had some enjoyment of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you're, I mean, you're asking me what did I really love, and I, I, I'm really reaching. I don't know if there were any that I really loved. I know I'm I love Smash, the- but that was about all I can think of. It was of. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the win on it was okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. But he's already watched that. He needs a In retrospect, show. we've got the win. Take the win, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't it doesn't count we if you made already the watched suggestion. it. <laughs> we made the suggestion. And he watched and it. it. Accepted. If he if he had said yeah. or so if he had watched it, he would have moderately to mild between three and six on the scale. Have achieved enjoyment from it. No, oh, I can, that's, that's I can how actually my think of one. Works. Oh, I, go ahead. I can think of one that uh, it was. It didn't really fit any of the rules of what I've been talking about. Mm-hmm. But when Robin Williams' Mork and Mindy first came out, that it was Mork so Mindy. different. Nanu, Nanu. It was okay. so completely different that yep. I just I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the fact that it didn't fit any of the old models. I've got it. It either has to be completely believable or so unbelievable, but yet well written that we can accept the enjoyment yeah. and the exploration of the adventure sure. of witnessing something that isn't really real. Yeah. I, I accept your challenge. It's true. That's, that, that is true. Mm-hmm. If it's so okay. far off the beaten path that it doesn't, that, that you, you can't hardly even believe that they're actually broadcasting it. Okay. But, but it must be work. well done and you must empathize with the people yep. and be able to mm-hmm. connect with them at a heart level. At some level, yeah. Okay, that's why I said you need more than one episode of Supernatural. This is all these things. <laughs> I, I have to agree with Alex on that, to be honest. All right. Uh, t- tell me, are there any episodes where they don't heavily emphasize the going after weird creatures and killing them routine? That is what uh, they do. Yeah, Sorry. that's like their entire job. <laughs> okay. So that, they, that's, yes, that's part of the problem. Are, there are a few seasons where we get off that, that track. Okay. Are, well, point point me in those directions. At least that way, that's something I can I can I bring myself to watch. Some. The introduction of idea. angels. Yes. Start with season four. But here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you specific episodes and specific seasons to watch. Okay. And then I'm going to start you off with the most hilarious episodes. Get you to like the characters first, and then you can start with their nonsensicalness. Just give me a little bit of a. You know, a background so that I understand what the storyline is when I'm watching. These, these stories won't need a bet. The, the oh, they're standalone. You can watch yeah. them as standalone, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, yep. yeah. the then sure, I'll give that a shot. Standalone. They normally do the whole thing at the beginning where they do. Their... Yeah, the the backtrack. Yeah. The backtrack thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I can live with that. Sure. Okay, I'll give that a All shot. Right. All right. Supernatural. I'm, if you're watching this, try. producers, we know you're ending, but we would like sponsorship money, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we would appreciate it if we, you know, to keep the Absolutely. going. I love that. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm warming to Supernatural already just by saying. They that. have a lot of free time right now because they are on break due to what's going on in the country right now. Well, so, yeah. That means that we're not going to finish it. No, we're going to finish it because they wouldn't do that to us. But it's just going to be a little longer of a season than we thought. So mm-hmm. we're this, li- this, this current climate was written by four-year-olds. It may not finish. <sighs> Listen. They haven't let us down yet, except for canceling the other seasons. But that's only because it's been 15 
18 years, give them a break, you know, let them, <laughs> let them watch their kids grow up or something, you know, stuff like that. But <laughs> they haven't well, you, you realize I'm, I'm just doing a quantum leg pull. Oh no, you're playing devil's advocate in another <laughs> universe. It's cool. One, one thing I can always count on is Alex never takes a so-so position. Nope. She do, she takes a position and she is the ultimate defender. You know, you, you could put that her in of the US defenders. Pretty much, you could put her in charge of that that castle turret, and that turret is staying. I mean, <laughs> if no one's taking that turret. The rest of the castle may burn to the ground, but the turret will still be there. I don't know. There's been a couple of times where you've said something, and I'm like, all right, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know one of these things. We have a minute left, and in that minute, well, I would was really one of those... to know one of these things. Okay. I what don't remember, it? but I remember specifically, some. he was talking to someone, and he said to me, what was it about? Oh, my God. You can see how memorable this was. No, it was memorable. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a bad memory. It's all the medication. <laughs> it's okay. Um she said forgettingly. It was something about consciously creating something or a self-fulfilling prophecies. That's what it was about. And mm -hmm. and he was trying to convince me that I was getting in my own way. And I was like, all right, fine, maybe. But, you know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's more like, okay, I see your point. Do I agree with it? Not necessarily, but I see your point. <laughs> I see how you arrived at your conclusion. <laughs> and that is, that is as much as I can give. It's like a, almost like a Enoch, the comic, comic con or whatever. Huh. I see how you've arrived at this conclusion, although I'm not really <laughs> sure how it was arrived at, but I mean, <laughs> where you have arrived. Yes. <sighs> well, if you have uh, survived to the end of this episode, first of all, congratulations. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Second we of all, did. well done. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> and that is ecstatic podcasting. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, Last yeah. hashtag. We, we have at, at least defined what the medium is because ecstatic dancing is where you move without talking. Ecstatic podcasting is where you talk without moving. You know, we did pretty well on that. <laughs> Only if you're listening to it. If you're watching us, you saw us moving. <laughs> yeah, well, that's cheating. <laughs> oh, We're both, we talk with our hands. We're very, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Handy. Yes. <laughs> Andy. And that in a nutshell is how and you do it. And this is us in a nutshell. I usually end with a phrase that says something like, with that thought in mind, but there's no thought in mind, so I can't no. say that phrase. No. <laughs> just just let them come back tomorrow for some serious stuff. I'm gonna that, do that that's about all we can say, yes. Uh, yeah, we, we, we won't we be hope here you tomorrow. Laugh. <laughs> Actually, that was really the thing. We hope that you laughed, because that's yeah, really the most important thing. We Between the heaviness of the relationship Wednesday and the deepness of, of quantum time travel timeline jumping on a Friday. Absolutely, yeah is the weirdness of Thursday. It really is weird. Word. We, we still haven't found the right word to be alliterative to it, but whatever it is, it's perfect. Mm -hmm, exactly mm -hmm. right. So. Okay, well, this much I can do. I can say thank you very much because you did exactly what I asked you to do. You just lightened the load. You took our minds off of, what was that thing again? Exactly. I mean, it was very effective. So Love thank you, you guys. Very much appreciate it. Thank you also, live streamers. Thank you to our podcast listeners as well. We'll see you all next time here on LOA Today. Goodbye, everybody.